Hello, welcome back to the Geography 100 for WVU Geographical Data Analysis video series. Our next topic, as I said, we would see now the spatial analogs of the different sampling types from the previous um, from, from the previous video. These four I, I've eliminated the hybrid sampling type here, although the principle will still apply. First, I have a, the random sample. Now this, any, and I have a study area here, and any, and I, let's say I want, for a random sample, I might want 20 points from this area. Okay, I just put 20 points up there. That was at least attempted to be completely random. There is no rhyme or reason. I might have a lot in some area. I might have fewer. I might have even missed that one, depending on how that randomness, random location turns out. To ensure I don't miss anything, I could stratify by the four regions that I have put here. And instead of it being 20 just random points, I might want five random points within each region. How do those with green dots? So now I've stratified, but whereas in the example from the previous video, I stratified the majors by class, here I am stratifying by sub-regions within the study area, and spatial stratification. The next would be sampling, or um, they're all sampling, systematic sampling. A spatial systematic sampling for points would be a regular grid. So I put down in blue here 20 points, so it's the same size, but now they are, are arranged in a four rows by five columns grid throughout this area. In some cases, you might see what are called transects, which would be taking a line across and doing they recording the elevation or the land cover or what have you at all points along that line. As long as those lines or that line is straight and again evenly spaced, it would still be a systematic spatial sample. The last kind of sample here for the spatial version would be a cluster sample. And spatial clustering is probably just what you're expecting. To again take the idea of a say, one cluster per group, which I had with the different areas in geography, I might take a cluster one within each one cluster of five within each of the four divisions here. For now for a regular cluster sample, 
that might help you get to ideas of interpersonal relations because you have everybody in a group within your cluster sample. Here, we might be interested in dynamics at a very small scale. Perhaps it's looking at the habitat of species where the decisions that are being made as to whether that would be good or bad habitat for them could vary within the span of just a few meters. I'm thinking things like insects or small birds trying to decide where their nest is going to be to make sure you can capture dynamics at a very fine scale but still have it feasible and cost effective you might take clusters so that you can see the dynamics between two points very close to each other but you're not trying to have a very very dense network of points throughout the entire study area so that's the value then of a cluster sample um, so here again four different types of spatial sampling i'm not drawing it here but hybrid works as well i could take say stratify by these four areas and have a denser network say a a stratificate a systematic sample but where there's a much denser network of points in one area versus the other three or within one i'll use a cluster sample but random in the others those are all different possibilities again kind of reinforcing from the the previous video it is to make sure our spatial sample is going to adequately represent the geographic processes the spatial processes at work within our data so that we can then understand when we try to infer from the population that what we are saying and understand that process it's actually going to be accurate so those are again the types of sampling here random systematic stratified and cluster and hybrid as a combination thereof when we are deciding how to structure our data sample so if you have questions please feel free to contact me either in the class Zoom or in the, um, or, or by email. So, um, thank you for watching. Have a good one.